Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Julia. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about all the amazing deals that VAs is going to be having for their Black Friday sales event using these selective codes that I did list for you guys right here. I also have an additional coupon that is Julia15. As long as you're purchasing $20 over or more, you will get 15% off your entire order as long as you purchase $20 or more. So this code is valid until November 27th, so please take Take advantage of the fact that it is giving you an extra discount on top of what they're already offering so you will get free shipping in us only if you do spend over ten dollars as well so i just think that is amazing if there's one thing about vi's is that they understand that we do need high quality products at a very affordable price so that's what vi's is all about you guys should definitely check them out so go ahead and grab your debit cards grab your boyfriends your girlfriends cards or credit cards whatever and let's just dive right into this video yeah, money, yeah, money like I really think that during the holiday season is the perfect time for lash artists to go ahead and stock up on a bunch of supplies because there's amazing deals right now. So um, if you see me looking down a lot as well is because I'm referring back to notes just so I kind of don't get lost throughout this video. First things first that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the glue storage container from VIs. I think it is so pretty. I think it is really luxurious looking and I love the fact that it's not like that, that gaudy pink. It's definitely like a really pretty pastel pink. It holds up to three glues and it does retail for $9.99 so it's only $10 and the benefit of having a glue storage container is that it vacuum seals all the air out thus allowing your glues to last a lot longer and that way you're not replacing them constantly so like I said it does hold up to three glues of your choice and you also have the option to put like micro beads or the silica beads inside so that it um, blocks out and sucks in moisture. So I did want to talk to you guys about two main glues that honestly you need right now. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which you guys should, um, I have been raving about this product for I don't know how long now. I've recommended it to so many of you guys and so many guys said once you tried it, you can't go back. It was an amazing glue. It's affordable and you guys love the consistency and the retention with this glue. So this one is the extended retention 0.5 to one second drying time. The humidity is about 40 to 55%, 69 to 75 degrees. I personally always have my studio at about 73 to 74 degrees, but that's just me. I kind of like it a little bit cooler in my lash studio. Also retails for $13.99. So it's only $14. Like I said, you guys, everything that VI's has on their website, so affordable with such amazing products. Like you really cannot go wrong. All right. So this glue right here, you guys, this is the game changer. When VI's told me that they wanted to send this to me, I said immediately right now, this is the new VI's power bond adhesive 0.3 second dry time 0.3 second dry time yes I do want to say something though if you are a lash artist who is not advanced and your speed is not up to par I wouldn't recommend this glue if you're definitely more beginner more intermediate definitely do the extender retention if you are an advanced artist like myself I've been in the game for about four years um, this glue definitely is something that I needed absolutely this new power bond adhesive retails for $14.99 it's $15 and it is a glue that ranges in lower humidity like for me personally I do like to have an environment that's a lot cooler and I really don't like to have too much humidity in my studio my studio is very closed off like the windows don't open so it is very easy for me to control the humidity in my lash room Retention is amazing I didn't have a problem with it but again because me and my time and the way I lash it is a perfect amount of dry time for me to go ahead and place my natural lash on so I didn't have a problem with retention Attention. But again, if you're not a faster artist, you probably won't have good retention with this glue. Just keep that in mind, okay? Since we're still kind of on the topic of adhesives, I do want to mention two products that I feel like are super important that we kind of look down upon. Is this little keychain right here that helps you pop off the top or the um, glue piece on the top of your adhesive and these extra pieces of adhesive toppers. I really think these go hand in hand and should definitely be something that you should purchase because I've had a time where my adhesive got clogged and I wanted to 
unstuck it. And sometimes even though you could use adhesive wipes to go ahead and clean off your adhesive, it is kind of inevitable that your adhesive is going to get clogged. And personally for me, I don't like a dirty adhesive top. Now when you're going ahead and you're cleaning your adhesive with your wipes, I don't know if you guys ever had this problem where sometimes um, adhesive doesn't really come off and it kind of forms like a ring at the top. I don't know, that just drives me crazy. So I love the fact that I have a little keychain that I could go ahead and pop the top off and replace it with a fresh new one. It keeps your adhesive clean. Like our adhesive is the number one product that we need. Why are we not preventing to make sure that it's going to stay as fresh as it can be and as you know, um, I just personally love the cleansingness that this offers me as well. I feel like it helps my glue last longer. That may be just a placebo effect to me, but I just like having a fresh glue top. And yeah, you just never know when you're gonna run into that problem and your adhesive doesn't come off. It doesn't pop off. I had it before where I think I'm unclogging a glue and I end up pushing a piece of the dry adhesive down to the bottom of the nozzle and it gets stuck. You have to sit there and like use extra tweezers or try to pull it off and sometimes they won't come off so having this little tool to pop it off really extremely helped I had got this in my first PR package and I don't know why I've never mentioned it but I again I really feel like it's because it's a tool that we underestimate that is so important so definitely go and run and get you these okay so the next thing on my list is going to be the Super Bonder, and I absolutely love this product. I think everybody, every lash artist should have a Super Bonder in their lash kit, handy, ready to go to put in their Nano Misters. I absolutely love this one. I have no problem with it. I think my retention is great. I love the way it sets, um, and it doesn't have like a super overbearing smell either. I don't know if you've ever tried other Bonders, but other Bonders have like a super high chemical smell, and I love the fact that this one really doesn't. And again, I use it in my Nano mister go ahead and spray my clients and then I'm done and I leave them on their merry little way it retails for $13.55 which is about $14 love gotta have it go right now go purchase it so since we're kind of still in like that liquid category the next on my list is going to be the eyelash cleaning shampoo and I'm not gonna lie at first I was not expecting to like this lash shampoo I am so picky when it comes to lash shampoo you guys it's not even funny I don't like lash shampoos that leave this nasty residue behind and I don't like when they when you just sit them down for a while and they end up getting really watery and they don't get like foamy and I don't like when I have to use so many pumps of lash shampoo just to clean my eyelashes. I think that's just a waste of product. This one did not do that at all. And I was really surprised and I was really shocked. That's why I had to add it into this video. I actually loved this shampoo so much. I even ended up ordering the 10 piece count of the 30 millimeter bottles to retail to my clients because it is such a great shampoo. It doesn't require too much of a pump. All you need is one to two pumps of the shampoo. Even the 10 piece set count does come with brushes as well. And I love the fact that it's compact. It's also pretty travel friendly. So it really gives you like a deep clean feeling to your lashes, which I personally love and yeah, what more can I say? You need to purchase it. <laughs> You're gonna hear me say that a lot throughout this video. Okay, so moving on from liquids, I'm gonna talk about lashes now. And if you guys seen my last video, or again, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I absolutely love my lash trays from BIs, okay? The premium and the cashmere line, they speak for themselves. They honestly do. Go and buy a pack. They only retail for... <clears throat> Look at me being unprepared as always. Um, the cashmere trays are $7.29 a tray and the premium are $7.59 a tray. Now, if you guys saw my last video and you are a Lashbox LA cashmere mink, the cashmere mink collection. If you're a diehard lash artist, you have tried the cashmere mink lashes from Lashbox LA and they're like, what, $18, $19 a tray now. Um, these ones are only eight bucks. Like you really cannot go wrong with that. And I feel like the cashmere is so extremely similar, like a complete dupe to the cashmere line from Lashbox LA. So soft, so fluffy. They fan like absolute butter and I am obsessed. The only thing that I want is for them to come out with a CC curl. So that's like the only downfall, I guess I could say, from their cashmere line is they only have C and D curl. And then the premium line, which I don't mind at all. I don't, like, I honestly can say that there is a slight difference. I would prefer the cashmere line a lot more. So if you don't mind just having C and D curl in your kit, then by all means, just buy the cashmere line. But I do use the premium line for my C, for my C plus curls and my 0.05s. My 0.03s, I get the cashmere line my 0.05s I get the premium because the premium line I feel like 
it's not so feathery. Don't get me wrong. They still fan really, really good. They fan like butter. Don't get me wrong. That's not the point, but the texture is a little bit more different from when you're creating textured sets, like wispy sets, wet sets. I would prefer getting the premium lashes for those type of sets. And when you're doing like soft feathery sets, volume, Vega volume sets, I would do their cashmere line. Um, again, just try them. They literally, they, they really do speak for themselves. And I'm sure in the comments down below, everybody's going to say, yup, that cashmere line is it. That is a one. That's it right there. So the next thing on lashes is going to be the pre-made fans from VIs. I love these, but I love the D curl. Now, if you are a person who doesn't mind that J curl look, that's more of a flatter curl than obviously the C curl, but the D curl is where it's at. It's that perfect curl. To me, it reminds me of a perfect CC curl that is slightly bit curlier, but not a D curl, if that makes sense. I love these. I love the fact that it has that super snatched skinny base. They hold their curl and they just make my time a lot faster. Now, I have a fresh one here. I probably have at least I have one, two, I have about 10 plus this one, so I have 11 mixed trays. And there are days where I'm not gonna lie, I'm, you know, you're tired. Like, let's just admit it. Like, lashing is really exhausting. And you know, you're gonna have a set that's gonna take you long. I will definitely gravitate or reach for one of these trays. Okay, so the number one question that I do get about these is retention. Does the retention last long? Do they last long? Do they hold the curl? And the answer to that is yes, absolutely. I have a full video that I did that I showed you guys using just these alone and her retention was bomb. The curl stayed, they looked phenomenal. And even in the set that I did with the textured set, when she came back, I noticed that there was still a significant amount of the pre-mates at the bottom layer. So I have no problem with them. I love them. I really think that no matter how advanced you are and if you're okay with using um, pre-made fans. Okay, so again, still kind of on the topic of um, lashes. I did want to mention this adorable lash palette. I just think this is so stinking cute. Crystal rainbow lash palette and I just think it is so stinking pretty. Like it is so iridescent. It's so girly. It has enough lines on it and what I actually like the most about this this lash tile is that it's heavy. If you've ever worked with different lash tiles, they're kind of flimsy and that's another reason why I like to use like actual tiles as lash tiles, but this one is heavy enough that it doesn't slip and slide when you're lashing. So whenever you're lashing, you want to pick up like lashes. Certain lash tiles are so light that you can't really like pull on those lashes off the tray. So if you're somebody who's like super into like creative lash tiles, I just think that this is so cute. Like, I don't know, I just loved it so much. I just love the way it looks on my lash cart. I just think it looks so cute when people come in and they see it, they compliment me on it. So yeah, I just, I had to mention it. Um, oh, and I love that there is enough rows to put a good amount of lash strips on it. Um, I've had gotten sent lash towels before where I feel like there's just not enough room for the lashes on there and enough, not enough space to meet for me to put my glue dot. So that is another thing that I really liked about this little palette and it's just so stinking cute. So the next thing on my list, you guys already know, I rave about these, I live by these and I don't even care if I stop working with BIs. These are definitely a product that I will continue to keep purchasing no matter what and it is their gel patches and if you guys have been following me for a long time I have worked with numerous brands I have tried different gel patches and these are my favorite they're so nice I feel like they have like this perfect cooling sensation underneath the eyes but it's not overpowering it is perfectly sticky when I apply my tape that the gel patch won't move but it is less sticky enough that I could just just take it off so beautifully and it doesn't tug or pull. It doesn't feel like, oh my gosh, it's too sticky. It's pulling on my clients under eyes, under eye lashes. Like, ask anyone who's ever tried them and if you try them, you seriously will just fall in love with them too. Like you will, you will. So next category is going to be tweezers. And I did also mention a volume tweezer in here that like really, okay, look, you guys know I have my own line of volume tweezers from Lashesthetics. However, my brand right now is kind of on hold. And I was like, okay, I need to bring you guys a tweezer at least so that you guys you know, so that you guys can go ahead and purchase one. And this volume tweezer that I'm about to mention, I'm a little salty about it, I'm not gonna lie. 
and I had to mention this glue storage container. It is so freaking cute and I love the fact that it has like this little flap top that kind of keeps all the dirt and debris away. You know, once you're done cleaning your tweezers with barber side and you want to display them really nice and clean and neat. Again, a super important underestimated thing in the lash world is making sure that your tweezers are properly placed right. I see people who kind of just throw them in a little cup before. I personally like to have a display or to have something that stores my tweezers perfectly. Like if you know tweezers, you know that they're so flimsy, they bend so easily, and you just wanna make sure that you're properly storing your tweezers correctly. It is a six slot container. It retails for $14.99, and they have a pink marble one or this white marble one. And I personally wanted the white marble one because it went well with my studio, and I just thought it was so cute. Okay, so the first tweezer that I had to go ahead and mention is this tweezer right here. This is the Master Lash Tweezer. This Master Lash tweezer is designed for both isolation or volume lash picking with a super long handle and sharp grip at the tip. Help you fulfill a perfect lash set with less efforts. It is high quality stainless steel. It's got a really nice grip. It is a long term durable. It is very, very handy. I really, really loved this isolation tweezer. And the reason being is that it's so lightweight. They feel so durable. There's If there's, if there's tweezers or isolation tweezers that I recommend from BIs, it's definitely going to be their gold tweezer. They definitely have a more durable, really high quality grip. When I first started teaching, I would always put a straight tweezer in my students' kits because it was so much easier to lash the inner corners with a straight tweezer. Definitely, straight tweezers are kind of longer and they're meant to be that way so that it's easier for you to isolate in the inner corners. And that's why I love this one so much because it's long enough for me to really get into every single corner of that inner corner and also have that nice drop of that 45 degree tweezer so that I could perfectly isolate that specific natural lash so that I can go ahead and apply my extension. Absolutely love it, like definitely a game changer. It has a really high quality feel to it and you need this one in your life. All right, so the last tweezer, I'm a little salty about this tweezer because it's that good, but it is going to be their master volume tweezer. It definitely has a super high quality grip to it for being such an affordable tweezer. It does retail for $16.99, and the claims to be is that each tweezer is coated with a silver natural coat. It has a naked tip for the ultimate grip, and it can make easy on the eyes. This will help you to create perfect fans every time, perfect for professional use or home use, perfect angle and long nose making it ideal for isolating or reducing wrist action ladies the grip on this tweezer <laughs> I'm telling you I'm a little salty about it the grip man I can't even for me personally I love a 90 degree angle tweezer I used to use boot tweezers in the beginning of my career however kind of steered away from them because it kind of got harder for me to isolate but this one is like a boot and a 90 degree angle tweezer and it has a nice grip. Salty. I'm just, whatever. Whatever, VIs. You, you, you done did it. You know what? This I'm not gonna lie. This is a really great volume tweezer. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful tweezer. I love it. Grip is phenomenal. It fans really, really easily. Nice little grip to it. Just... Just buy this damn tweezer. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna tell you guys again. Just buy it, okay? Alrighty guys, so sorry that my camera interrupted. My storage memory was full, so that's why it probably looks a slightly bit different, but whatever. Anyways, besides the fact is, that's pretty much it as far as all my favorite VI's products on the sun goes. I'm also gonna be doing a little giveaway too. So please comment down below which VI's products stood out to you or which VI's products that you will be purchasing for these Black Friday deals. So I'm also gonna be doing a little giveaway as well. So please comment down below which VI's products stood out to you or which VI's products that you will be purchasing for this Black Friday deal. I will pick one lucky winner from the comment section to have a surprise box full of VI's lash goodies. That's everything. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, like I said, to comment, like, and subscribe and use my discount code Julia15 for 15% off your order valid through November 27th as long as you do purchase $20 or more. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video.